sa video na to. Hmm. Nagbabalik tayo dito sa street food heaven sa bansa ng Thailand. At gagawin natin ng isang ultimate Thai putok batok food tour. Hahanapin natin ang mga Thai food na magpapatas ng mga bibi natin. Mama, alam mo, itsura niya pala mukhang masarap na. Mula sa higanting beef soup na hindi napapanis. Cheers! Laman loob noodles. Flavor bomb. Ang harap. Hanggang sa famous putok batok pork legs too. Bakit na? Pare. Look at this. Ihanda ang loser ton because this is the ultimate Thai putok batok tour. Hindi ko alam kung putok batok siya pero feel ko puputok yung beans ko dahil sa ang hang. Ready ka na ba? Tura! Everybody move your body. Ang Bangkok ay parang Pilipinas din. Mula sa itsura ng mga daanan, itsura ng mga tao, trapiko, o kahit sa mga pagkain. Yung tipong kahit na sa kalsada man yan, maparestaurant man yan, mura, pero masasarap, at hindi mapagkakaila, na mahilig din naman sa gulay mga Thai. Pero on the other hand, ay eh, meron din silang mga pagkain na medyo kikiliti ng mga batok natin. And today, I'm on a mission to find the best tasting high blood food of this wonderful city. Okay, magandang araw sa inyo dito sa Bangkok, Thailand, pare. For this episode, kakain tayo ng lima na amazing street food dito sa Bangkok. Huwag na tayo magpaligoy-ligoy pa. Simulan natin sa ating unang food trip na isang malaking parang beef soup na hindi napapalit. Actually, na-feature ko na yun. Balikan natin. First stop, breakfast. At kakain tayo sa legendary Watana Panich. A Michelin award dress that serves simple, unapologetic, savory beef stew noodles. Pagkatating mo, ay bubungad sa yung malahiganting cauldron of beef soup na sabi daw eh, almost 50 years na daw continuous na linuluto. Natikman ko na ito nung huling punta ko sa Bangkok. Pero, it's a must try na resbakan nito. Okay pare, breakfast natin Magal, masal tayo Napuntahan na natin to Pero kailangan kong balikan Ito ang Watana Panish Ito yung pare, sinasabi ko nga For almost 50 years Ito yung sabaw na hindi napapanis So tuloy-tuloy yan So ibig sabi hindi naman literal Na hindi nila pinapalitan Anong nangyayari? Yung natitirang sabaw I-add nila sa bagong luto nila So basically parang tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung luto Anyway, sige Medyo swerte tayo Wala pa ganun tao ito yung pinaka beef noodle soup natin. Meron itong may mga fish balls dito. We have the chunk of beef. So parang may mga cartilage. And then nandito rin yung pinaka noodles natin. So ikitik mo kayo sabaw. Oh, sobrang... Alam mo, sobrang mustard siya. Ang kapal ng texture niya. May pagkalapot na. Medyo, medyo mapinat. Matamis. Alam mo, parang sa sobrang tagal na nga niyang pinakuloan. Eh, parang nanuot na talaga yung pinakalasa. Parang may konting-konting fermented flavor siya. So, kotimplan. So, lalagyan ko nung itong green chili nila. One spoonful. Tapos, konting chili powder. Patis ng Thailand. Lagyan natin. Yup. Okay na yun. Luin natin. And I think that's good. So, kuha ko ng karne. Kuha ako ng noodles. Oh, look at that. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That's just like a jump pack. Flavor fish. Sa dila ko. Oh. Mm. Alam mo yung karne niya? Parang braised beef. Alam mo yung ganong lasa? Medyo mas star anis lang konti. Ito yung karne. Sobrang lambot. Mataba. Yung noodles natin, it's on the chewier side. Pero may pagka-slimy na rin siya. Feel ko, sobrang dumikit yung sabaw. And then, ang yung bagay. Nung green chili na may suka. Yung chili powder natin, tapos yung patis, nagbigay na extra fishy aroma. Kung gusto kong gawin, gusto kong tikman itong fish bowl. Kamil. 
Puno texture ng fishbowl. Ganun lang din. Check on the extra bounce to your side. Okay, pal. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> hindi binibigyan ng Michelin Award to. Kung hindi niya deserve. Iba lang talaga yun. Ito yung tipong pagkain na pinipilahan. Pinupunta ng turista. Pero hindi lang hype. Meron talaga silang napapatunayan. Meron talaga silang ibubuga. As in, ang oh, sarap. We'll go to Bangkok. Parang... Kung posible na dapat hindi dumaan dito dahil visually appetizing, sila lang pag dumapo sa dila mo. Next, let's go for a simple favorite Thai comfort food called Pad Krapao or in English, pork in holy basil stir fry. Halika, tikman natin tong luto ni Auntie. Yeah. Little spice, little. Okay, next pare. Hindi ko alam kung putok batok to, pero feel ko considered naman dahil gawa siya sa pork at pataas sa kolesterol. Ito yung tinitawag na pork pad krapaw. At nakita ko lang si auntie. At nakita ko lang isang Thai mommy na nagluluto nito. At mukhang masarap. Amoy masarap. Tikman natin. So makikita mo, ito yung ating fried egg. We have this minced pork. Tapos yung Thai basil at maraming sili. Sige, tikman muna natin. Oh, ma alam mo yung tsura niya pala, mukhang masarap na. Mmm. Ay. Ang oh, sarap. Nice. I mean, yung smoky wok aroma niya. Yun yung una mong, like, malalasaan. And then, yung hint ng sili. Yung toyo, yung MSG. And then, yung pork natin, sobrang lambot na rin. Ah, ibang klase. Parang siyang... Para siyang Thai flavor ba mo sa bibig? Ang gawin ko, ginagawa dyan. Meron tayo ditong, alam ko, patis at saka sili. Lagyan mo ng, ikaw bahala kung gano'ng karami gusto mo. Ayan, so lagay ko. Ano yung gawin ko? Kuha ko dito ng itlog. Tapos kuha tayo nung may sili. <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung putok-batok siya Pero feel ko puputok yung beans ko Dahil sa anghang nito Bahala na, cheers mm. oh, Sarap Laking tulong ng patis Hindi sobrang alat ako Sorry Enhance yung flavor Alam mo yung vibes nito Sobrang karinderia vibes lang din talaga Sa kanto lang dito sa Bangkok Wala masyadong turista Ilang upuan lang Apat na upuan lang Pero ang sarap Anyway, pare, proceed tayo sa next putok-batok food trip natin. Next food trip natin, meron tayo ditong Chinese style, Singaporean style, or Thai style na street food. Meron tayo ditong like mixed meat. So makikita mo, meron tayo ditong roasted pork. We have this like sausage. At meron tayo ditong roasted duck. Okay. And then, sa ilalim niyan is yung bed of rice with that glazing sweet sauce na hindi ko alam. Sige, tikman muna natin tong roasted pork. Sinamahan ko na agad ang kanin. Cheers! Mm. Yung yan po nila Kasang normal na yan po lang naman Hindi pong like Prito lang din Asin yun na Pina nagpapalasa lang Is yung parang Sweet syrupy Sticky sauce Parang ito rin medyo Typical na nalagay sa Chinese food Ito parang tayo may ano Asado Akala mo asado Pero hindi Medyo may Distinct flavor siya para mas maalat siya ng konti sa sa asado natin sa Pilipinas. Sausage. Lasang chorizo. Punta tayo sa gusto ko talaga tikman. Ito yung duck nila. Mmm. Okay. 
Medyo last year yung sa Singapore. Yung iba yung quality doon. I mean, sabi nila, sikat daw to kainan na to. I mean, obvious naman ang daming tao. Pero sa akin, like, para lang sa akin, no? parang makakain ko rin to sa Pilipinas. I mean, hindi siya hindi masarap, pero hindi lang siya like sobrang special. Do, kung tatawin mo ako, kung gutom na gutom talaga ako eh, mauubos ko yung buong platong to. Anyway, Pops, proceed sa next food trip. Susunod, may nakita akong isang noodle shop na nagbibenta ng kway teow tom yum or basically Thai noodles with hot and sour soup. Pero napansin ko rin na meron tong laman loob at karne ng baboy. Tara, tikman natin. Okay, ibang tagaktak ng pawis ko dito sa Bangkok pare. Pero kakain pa rin tayo ng mainit na Thailand noodles na titawag na Kway Teow Tom Yum. So makita mo, look at this beauty. Simpleng bowl of noodles lang siya. So may nakitong parang ground peanuts. Wow, mayroong bituka dito. We have like meatballs. May slices tayo ng pork. And then punong-puno yan ng sili. Tapos sa ilalim is yung at... Wow, cool, interesting. Hindi ko lang kung rice noodles ba siya, pero sobrang bigat niya. Tikman ko muna yung pinaka parang may stock siya. Mmm, interesting. Ang sarap. Nasang-nasang ko yung una sa lahat yung parang peanut flavor niya nandun. Pero it's a mix of sour, salty, may konting tamis din siya. Ah, alam mo, mukhang masarap ito. Sige, gawin natin. Haluin natin. Look at that, all of that noodles. Paano ba? Kuha ko nito. Kuha tayo ng karne. Tapos nung noodles natin. Mmm! Ang unique kong texture ng noodles niya. Para siyang glass noodles na makapal. Na, hmm, hindi siya chewy. Pero alam mo, medyo kakagat ka pa ng mga dalawang beses. Ah, okay. Nice. Ang kapal niya. Look at that. Actually, hindi ko na-appreciate yun. Gusto ko ng makapal na kagat. Ito, cheers. Mm. Flavor bomb. Ang harap. Parang may nalasahan din ako cilantro. Okay, I mean, nakatikim na ako ng tom yam sa Pilipinas. Pero ito, medyo iba yung atake niya. So, yung complexity ng flavors, bagay naman sila. Yung tamis, yung alat, yung asim, yung anghang. Okay, nice. And then, in terms of karne, sobrang dami. May meatballs ako nalasahan. May konting laman loob. Ito, yung pinaka pork natin. Usually, lalagyan mo talaga yun ng patis at extra sili. So, lagyan natin ng konti. Okay, so haluin natin. Then, kuha, ito gusto ko tikman itong parang ano ba ito? Atay? Sige, kuha nito tayo parang tenga ata ito or what? Yun, nice. Cheers. Mm. Oh. It's so comforting. Kahit <laughs> ang init. I mean, ang hang, medyo may ang hang siya. Pero ibang klase din yung init sa bangkok ngayon. Pero wala kang pake dahil ang sarap ng kway teow. Tom yam na to. Ayun, sarap din. Hindi lang sa basta-basta meatballs. Siya ay flavorful meatballs. Sobrang init nun. Sobrang ahang nun. Habulin mo ng Thai milk tea. Okay, pare. Gawin natin. Proceed tayo sa next food trip, which is literal na sa likod lang.
Last but not the least, tapusin natin itong putok batok tour na to with the favorite cow kamu or in English, brace pork legs. At dito sa isang maliit eski sa Bangkok ay matatagpuan ang Jeff Horn Langlard Sin. Isang alamat na to sa paghahanda ng napakasarap na putahing ito. This is a Chinese influence, delicious and flavorful pork leg roast that is braised and then simmered for 3 to 4 hours in a broth made in star anise, cinnamon, cumin, sugar, soy sauce at marami pang iba. Tara, umorder na tayo ng isang pork leg. <laughs> Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, pare, last food trip natin. Ito yung favorite Thai food ko dito sa Bangkok. Ito yung Khao Kamu o Braised Pork Leg. I mean, this is such a legendary place. Anyway, meron tayo dito. Look at this Braised Pork Leg. Wow, look at. Grabe. Ang tawag na Actually, pwede ka mamili ng size. Ito sobrang lambot. Itsura niya parang sobrang lambot na. Look at that. And then, ah, okay. Ito, purong karne. Yung kanina, medyo balat siya. Sige, ang gawin ko, actually hindi ko alam nung gagawin Sige, uh, kuha tayo Grabe, lambot, effortless Kung tataka ka, hindi na kailangan ng knife eh Kayang-kaya na ng pinaka pork mo Oh, look at that Silagay ko sa kanin ko Lagay ko konting sabaw Gra Look how tender that is Feel ko slow cook talaga to. Ayun, may kuha tayo ng kanin. Mm. Mm -mm. Ibang klase lang talaga. Sobrang lambot. Gelatinous fatty. As in, parang... <laughs> parang yung natural acid ko sa dila ko eh. Tinutunaw niya na lang ng effortless yung pinakakarne. In terms of flavor, parang kang kumakain ng patatim. Hindi ko alam kung may... Parang may peanut flavor din siya. Ah, oh, that's nice. Baka dito, no? Look at this chili vinegar. Tapos, pwede mo ilagay sa kawka mo natin. Kuha ka ng pickled mustard dito. Ayan, so gusto ko may balat. Grabe tong kagat na to. Grabe tong kagat na to. Cheers. Mm. Ah, sarap. This like a chef's kiss. Actually, yung suka niya, ang laking enhancer. I mean, all of the chilies. This sobrang anghang. Itong kawka mo kasi natin, parang medyo may tamis siya. So, yung pinaka suka at chili, nagbibigyan extra acidity, extra kick. Ah, ang sarap. Meron din tayo dito itlog. Pili ko wala ka ganong pera. Pwede itlog lang orderin mo. Kasi lagyan ko nung ito. Mm. The best of the best. Yung itlog, parang dinamitan mo ng mamahaling damit. Pare. Look at this. Buwan ko gatin yung balat mm. <laughs> Ay, grabe Kung di pa putok-batok yun eh Ngayawan ko na lang I really love the vibes Kita mo naman literal eh, Skinita lang Shoulder to shoulder kayo nung pinaka-wall Kata, this, this is a local place Paborita ng mga lokal Kumain ng kawka mo one of their best comfort food dito sa Bangkok and it's a nice finisher ng ating food trip ngayong araw look at that lagyan ko nito and then lalagyan ko yan ng garlic fresh garlic isa to sa mabuting definition ng Bangkok street food cheers mmm Wow, ibang klase yung 
extra flavor ng garlic. Ano? Kamusta? Napahawa ka ba sa batok nyo? Oh, bigla kayo napakain sa wala sa oras. Sana nag-enjoy kayo sa limang solid na food trip na yon At marami pa kayong dapat abangan dito sa bangko. Hindi ko siya kaya yakapin sa sobrang laki. Oh my God, this looks nice. Grabe. Sa video na to, kakain tayo ng extreme. Nakatakot, baka mahulog. Spicy. This looks insane. Pork Buto Buto Mountain dito sa Bangkok, Thailand. Samahan nyo kayo challenge sa sarili ko. Nakainin ng monstrous Thai street food na ito. Oh, ang laki nito. Ready ka na ba? To rock! Ngayong araw, nagbabalik tayo dito sa pinakasikat na night market dito sa Bangkok, ang John's Fair, home of all over 700 souls at hindi lang pagkaya na makikita mo dito. Meron din mga damit at iba't ibang pasalubong. Pero, nandito tayo sa unang food spot natin at kakain tayo ng tinatawag na Leng Seb. This is a Thai street food featuring an impressive mountain of pork bones with tender meat in a full of green, spicy, chili, garlicky broth. At kung last time, XL lang in-order ko, e eh ngayon, babawi ako at o-order ko ang XXL, which isang pinakamalaki nila na nagkakahalaga ng tumataginting ng 1,500 pesos. Tara, tignan natin kung paano i-assemble ito. Okay, pare, hindi to buto ng dinosaur pero this looks extreme, this looks insane. Actually, parang kung tourist spot dito, para akong feel ko na sa zoo ako, pinagtitinginan at pinagpipicturean ako ng tao. Actually, hindi ako pinipicturean eh. Yung pagkain ko, yung in-order kong pagkain, kung sa pesos, 1,500 pesos to. Ito yung tinatawag na lang, Seb, parang ganun. So, this like a spicy pork bone soup dish. Ibang klase, higante. Nakakain ako nito 2022 na nagbangkok ako Pero ito, ibang klase Medyo may mas budget na tayo ngayon Pero hindi ko alam kung kakayanin ng chanko Anyway, gawin natin Look at this, ang laki na Kita mo naman yung plato Hindi ko siya kaya yakapin sa sobrang laki Oh my god, this looks nice, grabe Sige, gawin natin, tingin ko mo kayo sa baw Wow Ganong-ganong ba rin? That's extreme green chili, that sourness, that spiciness. Yung pork bone stock, lasang-lasa mo rin. Para kang, para kang humihigop ng ilaga na puro sili. Ito yung pinaka-catch dito. Paano natin kakainin? Kailangan ba natin ng strategy? Hindi ko alam. Siguro, hindi ko alam. Natatawa ko. Hindi ko alam paano sisimulan. Ah, uh, sige. Punta tayo sa grabe. Alam mo, para ano ito eh, kutkutin Yung hindi talaga siya sobrang malaman Kilangan mong himayin talaga yung pinakakarne Ayan no Sige Okay, nakakuha ko dito Kuha rin tayo dito mm. Ganun-ganun pa rin Basically, parang ilagang buto-buto ng baboy Malambot yung karne Though, hindi na siya as fresh na gusto mo No, okay pa rin naman. Gusto kong kumuha ng isang malaking bloke. Eh. Ito, ito, ito. ito. <laughs> Para kang naglalaro ng Jenga o kaya Uno. Parang kapag kakuha mo nito, ay baka mahulog, tapos talo ka na. Nice pa rin, look at this. Nakatakot, baka mahulog. Okay. 
all of that green chilies. Take one natin, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Sobrang daming karne nun. Okay, doon sulit na sulit. I mean, in fairness, no? sobrang lambot niya. Kung tatanungin mo talaga ako, para lang kumakain ng ilagang buto-buto ng baboy, ito lang ay punong-puno ng sili. Tapos pansin ko ngayon, parang mas kaya ko siya. Mas nangahangan ako last time. Patay ako hindi. Lagay natin yung sili. Simple lang eh. Hindi naman siya yung overpowering na flavors. It's more on the experience talaga. Oh, oh wow, ang laki nito. Look at that. Sa mga nanonood ngayon eh, hindi ko alam kung anong reaction nyo sa ginagawa natin ngayon. Pero, sabawan pa natin. Mm. Mm. Feel ko tuloy yung parang four years old na naglalaro ng Lego. Ay, nakakatakot baka mahulog! Ano, kita nyo pa ba ako? <laughs> ano pa? Pwede ko magtagutaguan dito. Mm. Sobrang laki ng parte. Pero wala ganun karne. Wala ganun. Ito, gusto ko lang din talaga pakita sa inyo na may ganito kalaking street food dito sa Thailand. Wow! Grabe. Ba, pwede mo siyang paliguan parang baby. Punong-puno ng sili. Cheers! Okay, pare. Ngayon na sumipay ang hang. Grabe. Hanggang sa utak ko. Feel ko. Naramdam ko yung sili. Siguro sa 100%, naka 20% lang. Sobrang nakakabusog. Ang laki. Ang anghang. Pero yun yan. Don't get me wrong. I mean, malaki siya. Pero buto-buto siya. So, hindi siya purong karne. So, yung 1.5 mo, masasabi ko, ano ba sulit naman? 1.5? Ang laki, lalo kung marami kayo, kung magdatropa kayo, pwede na. Pero dapat, meron kayong gatas o oh. ang ang Masasabi sa inyo, kailangan nyo na pasensya. Dahil pag umorder kayo at kumain kayo ng ganito, panigurado, maraming magpipicture sa inyo. Maraming medyo manggugulo. Pero kailangan na pasensya. Okay pare, ibang klase yun. Busog na busog ako. Marami pang natira. Tatanong nyo, Papas, anong gamit sa natira? So, ginawa namin, hindi ko na tinake out. Sabi ko dun sa staff, uh, meron daw silang pwede pagbigyan. Siguro, ewan, baka pulo bigyan yan. At uh, sila na daw bahala. So, hindi daw nila tatapon. And then, pinagkatiwala ko na lang. Kasi, dali namin. Kasi, pag tinake out namin, hindi na namin makakain. Kasi, may mga shoot kami. Tapos, sobrang laki din ng plastic. So, pinagkatiwala ko na yung parang manager nila. Anyway, mabait naman. So, pare, itong Judd's Fair, isa sa pinakamalaking modern night market dito sa Bangkok. At para tapos itong episode na to, siguro, kain tayo ng konting dessert. Anyway, hanap tayo next food trip. Wow! Thank you. Okay, next pare. Ang sabi ko, dessert. Pero, iba yung nakita ko. Sundan natin yung extreme ng isa pang extreme. Meron tayo iba't ibang insects. Pare, meron tayo dito ang mga malilit na worms, tipaklong, may ipis tayo doon, may crickets tayo. Meron tayo dito ang malalaking coconut worm. Border ako 100 pesos mix bugs, pare. Ibang klase. Look at that. Tapos, in-spray na yan ng toyo. Tapos, wow, may sili. Wow, kakaiba to. Yung kinain ko sa China to, mulang ganito. Sige, ano bang unahin ko? Unahin natin tong worm. Yan, coconut worm. Nakakain na ako nito sa Vietnam, pero tikman na rin natin. Cheers. Mmm! Oh, wow! Ang pungent niya. Parang bumaho yung lasa. Mas okay yung sa Vietnam. Hindi ko lang, hindi ko lang, hindi ko lang kung pernito ba yun or what, pero hindi ko gano'ng trip. Sige, ito, tikman natin tong Tikman natin yung tipaklong. Mm -hmm. Very meaty, salty, crunchy. 
Parang kumakain ng organ. So, tikman natin tong worms. Ito parang ere lang. Parang kumakagat ako ng hangin na medyo malutong. Kung yung ibang ipis yung pinapatay nyo, ito, yung kakainin ko. Ipis ba ito? Mind over matter. <laughs> parang may mga foul taste. Hindi <laughs> ko masabi. Anyway, pa naman. Siyempre, kung tutusin, hindi naman siya sobrang enjoyable, sobrang sarap. For the experience lang din. Tala. Kung pupunta ka ng Thailand, kung malakas loob mo, pakain mo sa kaibigan mo, o kung may kagalit ka, pwede mo rin pakain yan. Anyway, pare, harap tayo ng totoong dessert. Okay pare, ito totoong dessert na talaga to Meron na itong roti Thai Authentic Thai roti Paulit-ulit ako dun So, itong roti egg banana flavor to Look at that Look how creamy that is mm. Ayun banana, sobrang naging cream na sa sabdila mo Parang nasang gatas Oh, harap. Hindi. Give the perfect egg wrapper na medyo malutong, may kunting chewiness, and then parang nalalasan mo rin parang kondensada. Actually, after that spicy pork bone soup, tapos yung mga exotic na insekto na yun, perfect panapos tong roti na to. Oh, harap. Eh, okay, parang yun yung kagat para sa inyo. Sa video na to, Pilipinas, matitikman mo lang to sa isang masarap na Thai restaurant. I'll show you some of the super cheap street food of Bangkok, Thailand. Mm. Samahan nyo kong hanapin ang mga mura, pero masasarap. Sarap? Shit! Abot kaya, pero hayop sa linamnam. Masarap masaya siya. Yeah, more! Sige! <laughs> ang saya niya. Welcome to Thailand Super Cheap Street Food Tour. Ready ka na ba? Tura! Bangkok Street Food refers to wide array of affordable and flavorful food options available from vendors and hawkers lining on the streets, alleys, and markets of Bangkok, Thailand. These food offerings are an integral part of Thai culture and are cherished by locals and tourists alike for their convenience. At kung sa Pilipinas ay mahilig ka sa pagkaing mura ba dito sa Thailand, ay mahahanap mo rin yan. Isang magandang araw dito sa Bangkok, Thailand. Nandito tayo sa Soy, Pechaburi 19. Isang area kung saan, para itong baklara, marami kang mabibili mga damit, sapatos, lahat ng kaik-ikan and dito na. Pero bukod dyan, eh marami rin klaseng street food, karindirea at restaurants ka makikita dito. Anyway, ang gawin natin ngayong araw, this will be ng ultimate lunch tour dito sa Bangkok. Samahan niyo ako. Tura! Today, I'm here on a famous shopping area called Soy Pechaburi 19. May ahambing ko ito na parang baklaran sa atin. Dahil bukod sa pagkain, ay marami rin kung ano-ano pang produkto na pwede mo mabili. Pare, breakfast natin. Meron tayo dito ang authentic Thai boat noodles. Kita mo to. Alam mo, tsura niya. Kala mo, parang siyang dark brown pho. Ito tinatawag na boat noodles kasi usually sineserve to sa mga lake or sa parang mga river sa Thailand. So usually, kaya tinatawag siya boat noodles kasi literal, sa boat siya binibenta. So yung mga pumapalaot o yung mga nagbabangka, usually ito yung pinaka-dish nila. Makita mo yung pinakasabaw niya, parang siyang dark brown na paris. Sige, tikman natin. Cheers. Wow! Wow! Grabe yung flavors nun as in! 
Para siyang like 300% flavor bomb. Ang daming ganap. Ang complex. Matamis. May dark soy sauce flavor na sa mo. Yung beef stock. Parang may pork stock din to. Tapos may konting hint ng parang blood flavor. Alam ko nilalagyan dito ng blood eh. O may konting hint. And then may konting bango rin siya. From all of that coriander or cilantro. Oh nice. Sige so dissect natin. Makita may pig liver tayo dito. May fish bowl tayo dito. Ito parang, yeah, pork slices. Uh, and then yung, and then ito yung pinaka rice noodles natin na sobrang kapal. Ang uh, this. Nice, cheers. Oh. <laughs> Ang minit nun, pasensya na. Alam mo yung texture niya? Parang ang kumakain ng palabok. As in, you have the bouncy, chewy noodles. Then yung soko pinasabaw. And then, yan, yeah, yung pork liver. Kung lasa ng atay din ng baboy, ganun din naman. Alam mo, isa pa. Parang medyo pangat ang subo ko nun eh. Isa pa. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ngayon ko kukuha ng fishball dito. Konting chicharon. Tapos yung pork. Hindi ko sa sabaw. Mm. Ayan. Well. Ang sarap Grabe yung dynamics ng flavor dito Ibang klase, sobrang complex Pero bagay na bagay lahat Gawin ko, gusto ko timplahan Lagyan ko ng konting chili powder Isuka tayo dito konti Then, haluin natin Ay, Haluin natin Sarap. Yung chili powder nagbigay na extra kick. Yung suka natin, extra sourness, acidity. What a way to start our day with this boat noodles dito sa Bangkok. Okay, next. Meron tayo dito tinatawag na Hainan Chicken. Pero hindi lang isang klase. Meron tayo ditong two kinds of Hainan. May fried Hainan. Meron din tayo ditong yung steamed Hainan lang. So, gawin ko. Sabi daw, okay? Pag mo daw kain ito na walang sauce. So, gawin ko. Lagyan ko. Ayan. So, gusto ko simulan sa kanilang steam. Okay. So, ah, okay. Yung kanin niya, medyo moist na. Parang, feel ko may konting aromatics na nilagay. And then yung manok. Hindi yung manok. Parang Singaporean Hainan lamb. Though ito, less juicy. Pero malinam na. Masarap naman. And in terms of sauce, yeah, sweet, spicy, vinegar lang din siya. Pero ang pansin ko, no, itong mga klaseng dish. Sikat din sa Thailand to. Okay, punta tayo dito sa crunchy. Ayan, kuha ko dito. Basically, yung manok nila, brinending mo lang. Kung tatanungin mo, mas trip ko yung, ano, yung parang steam. Pero, to be honest, pinaka nagpapalasa lang is ito. Yung parang sweet spicy vinegar nila. Gawin ko, try ko, double meat. Isang kagat. Mmm, ang sarap. Mmm, nice. Actually, trip ko tayong vibes dito. Hindi mo na kailangan lumayo. Tabi-tabi na yung mga kanderia, yung mga kainan. And may pare, proceed tayo na next food trip. Egg. Chicken egg. Chicken egg. Yeah. Okay, I'll try one chicken egg. And uh, how much? 25. 25. Okay, one chicken egg. And then uh, what's this? Fish ball? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. So makikita mo, yeah, nilalagyan niya ng spicy vinegar na may parang herbs or spices. And then ano to? Uy. What's that? I don't know. Masarap sa masaya siya. Yeah, more. Sige. <laughs> Ang saya niya. <laughs> Ito yung pinakamasayang Thailand vendor na nakita ko dito sa Bangkok. Anyway, makikita mo, makikita mo yung dalawang klase tayo ng 
pinakapagkain dito may itlog tapos yung fishball. Gusto ko muna tikman yung fishball. Tawa lang siya ng tawa siguro kanina parang dagdag ako pa. Putang ina manghang to. Nagpapadagdag ka ba? Pero bahala natin. Kung natin. Cheers. Mmm. Ang sarap ng host. Good. Alam mo, hindi ko nagbibiro ah. Kaya palang yabang niya kanina. Nagdagdag ako pa masarap ko. Ang sarap ng host. Parang siyang yeah, vinegar din. Pero may konting tamis. And then yung spiciness hindi gaano. Ah, alam mo parang isa to pinaka maumami na Sausawa ng tikman ko. Oh, nice. Ang sarap. And then yung, yung pinakabilog, yung fishball. Literal, parang squid ball lang din. Sige. Naintriga ako. Naintriga ako. Gusto tikman tong itlog. Mmm. Okay. I mean, tastes like regular egg. But this one, game changer. Ang sarap. Alam mo nga, no? Para siyang papuntang Penoy eh. God. The game changer dun. Ito yung pinakasasawan. Ibang klase ng sarap. Okay, next pare. May nakita tayo dito. Alam mo dito sa Bangkok, dito sa Thailand, yung mga drink shops nila, eh ganito talaga yung style. So, di ka mauuhaw dito dahil kaliwat kanan, eh merong ganito. So, may tile meeting. Makita mo, look at that. So, makikita mo, dito talaga, hindi yan naka-powder. Binubrew talaga nila yung mismong tsaan nila. Ayan. Hindi yan instant milk tea. Mano-mano talaga yung ginagawa ni Mami. Ayan, o. So, nilagyan ako din sada, yung tsaan natin. Ayan. Extra milk. You know, nakita mo. In order ko, meron silang version dito na tinatawag na green milk tea. Or green tea. Thai green tea. Ayan, nakita mo, o. Yung medyas, di ba? O. Mano-mano talaga. Nilagyan niya ng... Sobrang daming yelo na umaapaw at kinamay niya ng konti. Yun, hinulma-hulma niya gamit ang kanyang kamay. And then, ipupour sa ating overflowing na yelo. Top can! Okay. Tikman natin tong green milk tea. Cheers! Mm. Nice. Alam mo, ang pagkakaiba niya sa Thai milk tea, ito sobrang-sobrang matcha-a. As in, like, dark, it's like a dark tea flavor na Not too sweet. Sobrang creamy and milky. Nice. This is like a perfect drink para sa kupin. Yung init sa katawan ko dahil ang terik yung araw dito sa Thailand. Also, try? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay pare, next may nakita ko dito ang napakamabait at beautiful na Thai Mami Meron siyang binibenta iba't iba, parang karinderiya, kung baga turo-turo May nakita ko dito ang Thai Spicy Chicken Curry Look at that <laughs> Alam mo na yung triga, gusto ko alam tikman muna yung kanin Mukha siyang masarap Tapos dinagdagan niya rin ito ng extra fish curry Tikman natin, cheers Mmm Mmm ang sarap. Wow. Ang anghang din. Wow. Ang anghang. So, gawin natin. Tikman natin yung mismong manok. Ayan. Kuha ko dito. Ano ba? Kasi yan yan. Kuha ko. Mmm. Mmm. Kabuto. Not as meaty na gusto mo. Ayan. Meron. Alam mo. Nasang nasa ko yung turmeric. Yung lemongrass meron din. Sure boy ako meron. Ang bongo eh. Alo medyo kalasa nga yan Indian curry. Pero may ibang may ibang sipa lang din talaga ng Thai spices. And perfect din yan with the soft rice na nabadbara na nung pinaka curry sauce. Sarap. Mmm, ayun. Purong karne. Kung kita mo naman, halos mauubos na yung ulam niya. Sobrang sikat dito ni Mami. Nakita ko nga, yung dami iba talaga, ginagawa, take out talaga. Siguro pag-uwi sa bahay, doon nila kakainin. Anyway, Pops, kainin ko na to. Proceed sa next food trip.
Okay, next, meron tayo nakita dito Nagbebenta ng iba't ibang laman Or mukha ng baboy May nakita ako dito tenga So nagpahiwa ako Look at this Ang lalaki ang kakapal ng tenga ng baboy So may nakita rin ako dito Parang cucumber or zucchini ba yan? Ewan ko uh, May celery And then And then binuhusan niya ng green chili vinegar Sige Gawin ko Punta ko sa pinakailalim Para nandun yung flavors eh Look at this Alam mo Visually parang alas yung kilawin Mmm Mga oh, interesting Not as flavorful na gusto mo Pina nagpapalasa ng basically Isuka na may green chili No, ang hang hindi gaano Pinaka karne parang in-steam lang siya Fairness, malambot, mataba I mean, hindi gaano chewy Feel ko maganda yung pagkakakulo niya Nakuha ko itong parang cucumber nila Yan, ito perfect bite to Kompleto May tenga, may parang cucumber Tapos yung parang cilantro Cheers! Hmm. Mas nagkaroon ng dynamic yung flavor May mga juices na lumadabas sa bibig ko And yung cilantro pagdadag, And yung cilantro nagbigay ng extra flavor To be honest, not the best na tigma ko ngayong araw Pero pwede na Anyway, for the next food trip Okay, next meron tayo nakita dito Mga authentic Thai barbecue So bumili ako ng pork Tsaka chicken So ayan, lalagyan niya ata Ayan So meron ding mga isaw May atay Parang Filipino barbecue lang din Ito may chicken wings pa Ito na Yun Para sa spicy sauce Ay Sobrang lambot Huwag ganyan texture ng chicken yun Parang spongy Mmm Ang lambot And then yung balat Ano din Parang isaw niya Para sa Pilipinas lang din eh Sweet smoky barbecue style And then that chili sauce, medyo spicy, may tamis din ng konti, at parang may suka. Parang sa Pilipinas lang din. Try ko itong pork. Muping. Mmm. Ang sarap, shit. Sabi ko nga parang sa Pilipinas lang din, pero ito parang super high quality. Anyway, pare, proceed tayo sa next food trip. Next, bawal kang pumunta ng Thailand kung hindi kakain ng authentic street style, kanto style, pad thai. At meron ako ditong jumbo thai milk tea. Tikman natin. Ang sarap. You have the konting bitterness, may konting tamis, gatas. Pero masarap. So halos 80 baht to nasa roundly nasa roughly 130 pesos siguro. Kung sa malalaking hipon, meron ding mga tidbits ng maliliit na hipon. So ang gawin ko, kuha ako ng lime. Hindi ko malasa na to. Hindi ko na kailangan lagyan ng iba pa. Okay, tikman natin. Cheers! Mmm! Mm. Ang sarap! Hindi sa lang ultimate savory noodle dish. Yung peanuts, yung itlog, yung hipon. May konting spiciness. And then, nagdadagdag extra flavor. Yung malilit na hipon. Alam mo, parang may nalala sa atin ng pati. Sa ibang klase talaga. Sipin mo. Nasa parang baklaran nila ako ngayon. Ang daming street food vendors. At makakain ka ng authentic pad thai na baka sa Pilipinas, matitikman mo lang to sa isang masarap na thai restaurant. Cheers! Mmm. Oh. 
Lalo yung mga malilit na hipon. Ang laking tulong. Gusto ko tingnan itong may malaking hipon. Ayan o. Panalo. Panalo. Ibang klase. Nakapunta na ako sa area na ito dati pero hindi ko ito nakita. And it's nice to be back. And Romeo is back ng iba't ibang street po dito sa Pechaburi 19. Sa video na ito. Oh my! We will do an amazing food tour dito sa famous Chinatown dito sa Bangkok. I'm on a mission to find the best tasting Chinese Thai street food here in Yawarat. Ang kulit ng lasa. From spicy squid. Feel ko tumakas na intensity ko sa ang hang. Braised pork legs. Tawag ka mo. Pwede ko nang kainin araw-araw diyan magsasawa. Mango sticky rice. Tikitikman natin. And flaming hot Thai street food. Meron talaga siyang chunks ng crab. Hindi siya naglolo ko. Sige, kuha tayo dito. Ready ka na pa. Tura! Nandito tayo sa sobrang sikat na Bangkok, Chinatown Known locally as Yawara This is a bustling neighborhood in the heart of the city It's famous for its vibrant street life, markets, at syempre, delicious food Para yung magandang hapon sa inyo Nandito tayo ngayon sa Bangkok, Thailand Specifically, nandito tayo sa Yawara Dito sa kanilang Chinatown Pare, nanggaling na ako dito dati Pero it's time to rest back dahil Bawal kang pupunta ng Bangkok, hindi ka pupunta dito This is like from 1890s pa So medyo historical At sa same time, sobrang daming turista at sobrang daming street food ka makikita dito. Anyway, magharap tayo ng unang street food natin dito sa Yawarat. Yawarat is a paradise for foodies. You'll find an endless array of street food vendors selling everything from traditional Chinese dishes up to Thai street food. At isa ito sa pinakamalaki at pinakasikat na Chinatown hindi lang sa Asia pero maging sa buong mundo. So pare, meron tayo ditong Giant Grilled Squid. Actually, na-feature na ito last time, pero it's nice to rest back dahil alam ko masarap ito. Pero alam mo ngayon, no, sobrang dami ang sili. As in generous amount of green and red chilies na parang ilagay sa suka. Ayun, makita mo yung squid natin. Look at that. Oh my. Sige, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, sobrang spicy niya. All of the chilies. Nangiba po yung tamis ng sibuyas, ng suka. Itong greens natin, hindi ko kung coriander ba ito. Kapatagdag ng bango. Timposit natin, perfectly chewy, grilled, and smoky. Pitikman natin ito. Ibang klase yung flavor ng suka talaga. Ang sarap. Alam mo, to be honest, Nating special naman, nagpapasarap talaga dito yung suka. Kung wala ito, medyo bland siya. Feel ko tumakas na intensity ko sa anghang dahil dati sobrang nakahangan ako. Ngayon, ngayon medyo sakto lang. Anyway pare, hanap tayo next boat trip dito sa Chinatown. Thank you. Okay, next pare. Meron tayo dito iba't ibang fried goodies. Makikita may mga wonton, may spring rolls, pero ang kinuha ko, ang tinatawag nilang pork bread. Kasi literally, meron siyang bread, parang maliit na tasty, tapos nakapatong or nakadikit, nakakonjoint yung pinaka-meatball natin. Sige, tikman natin. Hmm. Ang kulit kong lasa. Okay. Una sa lahat, itong layer na to, medyo malutong, may pagka-chewy. Tapos, literal tinapay nga siya. Tinapay na medyo chewy. And then, pagdating dito, is a porky meaty meatball na parang may onion chives. Pinaka nagpapalasa lang, yung parang sweet chili niya. Okay. Tita mo, ang daming kumitira, ang daming kumakain. 
Paano rin? Nakaka-intrigan naman kasi nalagay itsura. Ano ko lahat? Isiguro ito yung pinaka-best. Pero, pwede na. Bang naman dyan. Yeah, tapos malalaki. Mura lang din. Nasa roughly 80 pesos lang ito. Okay, next, meron tayo din tawag na Kalkamu. Na-feature na rin natin ito. Ito yung Thai Braised Pork Leg. Pero mukhang masarap. Siyempre, siyempre din sa Thailand, katulad ng adobo, kada pamilya, kada stall, may kanya-kanyang variation. So, itikman natin ito. Meron tayo ditong karne. Meron tayo ditong taba at balat. Kasi gusto mo natikman yung karne. Cheers! Hinit Ang sarap Medyo mild sa flavor pero masarap pa rin I mean, alam mo, itong kawa mo Pwede mo siyang halin tulad sa crossover ng patatim At crossover ng adobo Parang ganun Tapos yung karne natin, sobrang sobrang lambot din So ang gawin ko Is meron tayo dito, ito yung favorite na Sausawan nito or condiment We have that vinegar and chili sauce Ilalagay mo dyan sa Kawa mo natin Ting gawin ko kuha ko ng balat Tapos kuha ko ng itong parang mustard pickle natin dito Tapos kuha rin tayo ng kanin Ibang klase yung taba Parang jelly na sa sobrang taba And then vinegar natin, may konting sipa ng hang Perfect souring agent Okay So last bite natin, uy Hindi ko alam kung duck egg ba to or chicken egg Pero mukhang duck egg Gulak sa akin po nung puno ng sili to Okay, parang kumakay ng penoy Ikaw ka mo, pwede ka nakainin araw-araw dyan magsasawa Okay, papas doon malalim ng gabi. Hanap tayo ng next food trip dito sa Chinatown. Okay, pare. Meron tayo dito ang Thai Mango Sticky Rice. This looks beautiful. Akala mo, nasa fine dining ka. Pero hindi. Nandito lang tayo sa kanto ng Chinatown dito sa Bangkok. Sige. Ha, alam mo, gusto kong simulan Gusto ko lang tikman yung mangga nila mismo Parang kakaiba yung tamis ng mangga dito sa ano eh, Thailand eh Iitsura pa lang Mmm Ang tamis nga Kung gano'ng kasarap yung itsura niya Ganun din siya kasarap ang tamis Parang natutunaw sa bibig mo Yung pinakamangga Sige, gawin ko naman ngayon Kuha naman ako dito Hello, I cream Punta tayo sa sticky rice natin na may coconut milk Sige, tikman natin Habang meron akong napagandang background music Cheers Ang sarap ng sticky rice Alam mo, may konting alat siya Siguro dahil sa pinipig So, para nagko-complement yung tamis At asin ng mangga Doon sa ating mango sticky rice Masarap lang din. Yung perfect combination, may konting alat dun sa pinipig. At sa same time, nagpapatamis yung coconut milk. Mm. Masarap lang sana kung medyo malamig to. Mango ice cream, coconut ice cream, mango ice cream, mango ice cream, sticky rice, ice cream, no ball, ice cream, mama.
六点七百。然后平时也是，只要有人问啊，或者我一听我们啊，就十张，十张好的。Okay, next meron tayo ditong Thai Crispy Pancake or parang Thai Crepes. Meron kang choices, dalawa. Ito yung orange, ito yung salty flavor. Yung yellow is yung sweet flavor. Punta tayo sa salty flavor. Naalala ko, medyo madali siya madurog. So parang kang kakain ng taco. Mm. Yung salty flavor, parang siyang may shredded shrimp. Ganang ganun, and then nalasang ko rin parang may fishy aroma siya. At same time, yung coriander nagpapatulong. And then, yung pinakalabas, parang siyang sweet apa. Apa ng ice cream na sobrang nipis. At syempre, sobrang sobrang lutong. Okay, ito naman yung sweet. Hindi ilaw gawa yun sa egg yolk na may sugar syrup. Kasi ito may whipped cream. Tikman natin. Cheers! Mm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Nasa itlog nga ba? Medyo. Parang lang siyang mga, parang siyang mga sugar glands. Parang ganun. I mean, nagpapatulong din yung lasa ng whipped cream. Pero kung mo masarap, actually masarap siya. Jalan, jalan, Last food trip natin dito sa Chinatown, Bangkok. Meron tayo ditong stir-fried oyster omelet. Medyo nabulol ako dun. Pero makikita mo, actually, itsura nyo talaga. Mukha talaga siyang para sa scrambled na may malalaking toge, itlog, tapos yung oyster natin. Sige, tikman mo na natin to. Okay. Very unique. Meron na kayo ng oyster omelet na parang sobrang mushy. Sobrang creamy. Alam mo yung, yung style nito, di ba usually nakain sa Taiwan, Singapore, yun usually talaga parang pancake eh. Parang may fried layer talaga siya. Ito hindi eh. Kita mo na durog na yung itlog. Sobrang, sobrang mushy niya na. Kasi yung pinaka nagpapalasa lang sa kanya is yung pepper. Actually, hindi ko alam feel ko kailangan lagyan mo nito. Parang sweet chili sauce. Mas nakakatulong. With that chili sauce. Para sa akin, flavor-wise, hindi lang siya yung parang suntok. Okay, next. Ito yung ating crab fried rice. Look at that. Meron talaga siyang chunks ng crab. Hindi siya naglolo ko. Sige, kuha tayo dito. Mm. Well seasoned, not too salty. All of that egg, that wok aroma, and then that huge meat of crab. As in, crab talaga. Hindi siya, dito imitation ng crab. Totong crab talaga. Hindi ako na nagdaan. Nahanap ko dito something na prito, like Thai fried chicken or kahit spring roll o lumpia, pwede pwede na. Pero kung nareklamo ka ba, masarap na rin dahil puro kami ng crab. Pwede ko mas masarap to, lagyan ng konting sipa. Pwede ko kukuha ng konting oyster omelette dito, iulam natin sa ating crab fried rice. Sa video na to, gagawin natin ang 1,000 peso Thai street food challenge sa mga kanto style kainan dito sa Bangkok, Thailand. Look at this seafood tom yum! Let's find some super cheap roadside eats on a busy neighborhood here in Bangkok. Kapag ilayo mo sa akin to dahil medyo mataas sa calories to, at tingnan natin kung saan naabot ang 1,000 pesos natin. Thai sausage. It reminds me of Taiwanese sausage. Ready ka na ba? Tura!
Kung sa Pilipinas, ang 1,000 pesos ay sobra-sobra na para sa street food. At dito sa Bangkok, Thailand, hindi yan nalalayo. At ngayong gabi, nandito tayo sa Soy Pichaburi 19, a bustling neighborhood that is alive for 24 hours. At tuwing gabi, ay mas nabubuhay ang area na to dahil mas dumadami mga street food stalls sa daanan. Unang food trip natin dito sa ating super cheap 1,000 peso street food challenge dito sa Bangkok Meron tayo itong Tom Yum Fried Rice Tom Yum is parang spicy sour soup Pero ito, yung Tom Yum flavor, inilagay mo sa Thai Fried Rice So, ito na yun, let's do the unboxing <laughs> Okay yun, para hindi mapanis Meron silang organic refrigerator Bubutasan para hindi mapanis Buksan natin, 1, 2, 3, reveal Look at that, wow Look at this seafood Tom Yum This, this looks nice. So, may nakita akong Thai basil. May nakita akong squid. Hipon. Ah, may squid din dito. Siguro kuha ko nitong may hipon. <laughs> Grabe, ang init pa nito. Cheers, pare. Oh, oh. Alam mo, ang sarap nun at ang anghang nun. Pero, don't get me wrong. That's a jam pack of flavor. Sobrang maumami siya. And then, may nalalasahan na ako parang luya at the same time. Tapos parang may seafood stock din siya. Ang sarap! And then, the rice, fluffy, soft. Mm. Lasang-lasa ko yung tom yum flavor. Yung parang asim, parang sinigang flavor. Parang nandun. And all of the smoky aroma. Tapos yung parang, ay ko lang kung basic ba to or what, nagpapadog ng tulong din. Sige, kuha tayo ng squid. Alam mo yung fairness, ang dami yun na rin squid. Panalo to. This is just the beauty of Thailand, pare. Kita mo naman dito, kanto style, literal, pwede kang mabangga ng tuktok. Pero okay lang, kung makaka-order ka naman ng Tom Yum Fried Rice dito sa bangko. Sa panggagat, then proceed tayo sa next food trip natin. Next food trip natin, meron tayo itong Thai roti. Fresh na fresh, siya mismo gumawa. Anyway, meron tayo dito itong Nutella roti egg. So makikita mo, meron niyang chocolate Nutella glaze. At meron din siyang condensada. Sige, kuha ko sa gitna. Nice! Look at that. Yung gatas tapos yung Nutella. Para na siyang lava na rin mix. Mmm! Mmm! Parang this is like... This is such an amazing dessert. Ang sarap! Mmm! All that chocolatey, nutty flavor galing sa Nutella. And that sweet condensada. Tapos yung texture ng roti natin, medyo malutong, fluffy, at sa same time, may chewy na siya. Alam, alam mo masarap sa kanya? Hindi siya overwhelming. Kahit parang ang daming Nutella, ang daming condensada, hindi siya overly sweet. Ang sarap pa rin. Mmm! Mmm! -mm. Alam mo yung isang nagpapasap dito? is yung parang scrambled egg flavor dahil doon sa itlog. Oh, ang sarap! Anyway, dapat ilayo ko sa akin ito dahil medyo mataas sa calories ito. Hanap tayo next food trip dito sa Bangkok. Oh, 
Okay, next, meron tayo ditong authentic Thai fried chicken. Look at this, small cart lang. Si Mami mismo, recipe niya yan. At meron tayo ditong mga luto na. At meron din tayong linuluto pa lang. Heto na yun. So, magkano nga ba to? Yung drumstick, 20 baht. Yung Thai part, 35 baht. So, magkano ba yun? Yung 20, mga below 40 pesos, mga siguro 30 pesos lang. Mga ganun, sige. Tikman natin. Look at that. Perfectly golden brown na drumstick. Tikman natin. Mmm! Sobrang juicy. Malutong sa balak. Yung butter niya, hindi masyadong makapal. Pero maganda doon, ang dami niyang extra crunch. In terms of marination, hindi ko maintindihan eh. Di ko alam kung yung butter ba, parang buttermilk or what. Medyo mabawang siya. Mmm! It might not be the best fried chicken, pero in terms of sarap, lalo na sa presyo, pwedeng-pwede na. Kaya natin. Try natin with sweet chili sauce. Mmm! Ang mga lasa niya, parang jupran. Itong type fried chicken, ito parang natikman ko na yun na version sa Pilipinas. Hindi naman nagkakalayo. Okay pare, harap tayo next food trip. Okay, next, magsawa ka sa barbecue dito. Sobrang dami. In order ko, meron tayo ditong muping or barbecue. Tapos meron din tayo isaw. Mm. Sobrang identical niya sa Filipino barbecue. Sobrang matamis, smoky, parang mabawang din siya. Kakaiba lang, yung karne dito sobrang lambot. So, kayo try itong isaw nila. Chai isaw. Cheers! Mmm! Okay! Grabe! Grabe, parang sa Pilipinas lang din talaga. I mean, parang ko siya describe Yun na, kung sa Pilipinas, yun lang din. Same marination, pinanagpapaiba lang. Yung pinaka-Thai sauce nila na medyo ma-vinegar. Maraming kasi ng chili. Proceed tayo sa next food trip. Stop! 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 Meron tayo ditong para siyang poker center pero sa malita store lang siya. Meron silang iba't ibang Chinese food. Look at this. This is a mixed meat. Meron tayo ditong crisp pork belly. Meron tayo ditong parang ham. At meron ditong roasted duck. Sige. Ang gawin ko, may sauce yan. Lagay natin. Look at that. Hindi ko alam ko anong sauce yan. Parang siyang sweet sauce ata. Na, parang siyang sweet dark soy sauce. And then, gusto ko na tikman tong pork belly. To be honest, na-try ko na ito noong 2022 at isa ito sa lagi ko kinakain. Pero, it's nice to be back. Tikman natin. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Yung balat nung Lechon Bell, hindi na malutong. Medyo, though, simple lang. Parang Lechon Kawale. Fatty. Nangina yan lang, hindi malutong yung balat. Try natin itong parang hamon nila. Mmm. -mm. Ito yung asado. Basically, asadong pork lang din siya. Thin slice, malambot. Okay. Ito na yung triga. Ito yung roasted duck. Mm. Ito 100 baht. Siguro na sa 150 lang. Marami na rin yung serving. Pero don't get me wrong, masarap at sulit siya. Okay. Proceed tayo sa next food trip. Okay, next, another barbecue. Meron tayo ditong chicken liver. Ayan, di ko makuha. Ayan. Grabe. Sobrang dark tong chicken liver nila. Akala mo nagiging purple na. Okay. <laughs> Siyempre, kung lasa ng atay na manok na inihaw, ganun lang din. Mushy, medyo creamy. Hindi ko ito yung magic wonder, yung suka nila. Ayan. Thai sausage. It reminds me of Taiwanese sausage eh. Pero sige, tingnan natin. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Alam mo, nasa ang Pilipino sa Ilongganisa. Matamis, sobrang mabawang, smoky, fatty. Pinaka nagpapaiba lang talaga is yung suka nila. Alam mo, itong food tour na ito, parang ang daming katulad ng lasa sa Pilipinas. 
Pero masarap na masarap pa rin. Okay, next meron tayo ditong pork noodle tom yum soup. Yung kanina, tom yum fried rice, ito talaga is tom yum noodle naman. So, overloaded to. May atay ng baboy, may slices ng pork, may wonton, may gorgeous egg, at fish ball. Tingnan natin yung sabaw. Wow, ang asim, ang sarap. Ito tom yum na tom yum talaga parang, parang siyang, parang siyang sinigang, spicy sinigang. All of the spices, the herbs, note na note, and then you see pa nung anghang sa lalamunan mo. Suwabing suwabe. Gawin natin, haluin na natin. Pwede tayo ng pork dito, may toge din dyan. So rice noodles yung gamit niya. At uh, gusto kong, ayan, basagin yung wonton dito. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> Alam mo, iba lang talaga yung atake ng rice noodles dito. Sobrang kapal. Ang chewy. Sin chewing chewy talaga. And then you have the extra crunch ng wonton. Perfect. Tikman natin tong ating pork kakaatay. Mm. That's so tender. Pero, oh, masap. Alam mo. Ito isang bowl. Ang tom yum na to. Ibang klase yung flavors. Parang, Naglalaro sa dila mo, mga taste buds mo, tuwang tuwa. Di na namamalayan, ano lang yan. And sobrang complex ng flavors na natitikman nila. Like there's sourness, may konting spiciness, may konting sweetness, saltiness, definitely. Hindi parang may seafood flavor. Okay, gusto ko nung kainin tong itlog na ito may yoko. Mmm. Hindi ko kalahin ang kain ng dalawang klaseng tom yam ngayon. Some fried rice, isa pork noodles, sa diyo nagsisisi. Pare, dito nagtatapos ang ating super cheap street food ngayong gabi dito sa Bangkok, Thailand. Iba talaga Bangkok. I mean, mura mga pag-ayos sa Pilipinas, pero iba rin yung mura dito. Kung bagay hindi nagsasuffer yung quality, ibang klase lang din talaga. Kung magkano ginasas natin, nakapaskill ngayon, kita mo naman, magkano lang yan, siguro. Hindi ko alam, dahil wala talaga yung idea, nakapaskill ngayon. Maraming salamat sa panonood. As Chewy, dito sa Bangkok, Thailand, nagsabi stay safe. Good night, good bye. Alright. Bang! sa video na to. Wow, look at that! <laughs> Gagawin natin ang fast food battle dito sa Thailand. Wow! Panghang. Kakain tayo ng McDonald's Thailand. Ooh, look at that! May cheese nga siya. Versus KFC Thailand. Isang lasa may 11 herbs and spices. Kaya binihintay natin. Tura! Okay pare, magandang araw. Nandito pa rin tayo sa Bangkok, Thailand. For this episode, bibisita tayo sa dalawang sikat na fast food sa buong mundo. Pagtatapat natin ang McDonald's, Thailand sa KFC, Thailand. Nabisita ko ni McDonald's dati dito sa Bangkok at naintriga talaga ako sa mga menu nila. At ngayon, nare back tayo dahil alam ko mas marami tayo matitikman. Anyway, simulan natin ang battle na to. Saan pa ba? Sa likod ko, kundi ang McDonald's dito sa Bangkok. Okay, kung makikita mo pa lang, dito pa lang, Tingnan naman. Suwa di ka. Nakasuwa di ka talaga si McDonald's. So malalaman mo talaga na sa Thailand ka. Sige, pasok na tayo. Okay, nandito tayo sa ating ordering section or kiosk. Eat in. Super cheesy beef burger. Meron silang mga combo meals, fries, dunk cheese. Ano to? Shake shake fries, truffle cheese. Wow, curly fries. Uh, ang kit naman ito Hello Kitty Sweet Egg Plus Pinky Cream Pie Order ako niyan Okay, orderin ko itong Super Cheesy Beef Burger Dunk Cheese Mac Chicken Bites Sige, tingnan din natin Try ditong Mac Shaker Truffle Fries Pero meron tayo ditong Truffle Cheese Mas gusto ko tikman ito Das kakaiba Krapao Crispy Chicken Rice Mac Patungko Ano to? With condensed milk Sige Simula natin. Okay, total natin 4.94. Siguro mga less than 800 pesos yun. Oh, 
Okay, ito na natin pagkain dito sa McDonald's, Thailand. Look at this. Kakaiba as in, halos lahat ng to except yung cheeseburger, eh, dito ko lang makikita sa Thailand. Simulan natin sa kanil. Look at this gigantic oval tin drink. May ganito kalaking size pa sa Pilipinas. Anyway, tikman natin. That sweet, chocolatey, childhood favorite oval tin. Ang sarap. Parang pag inom mo ito, hindi pwede isang kamay. Kailangan dalawa. Ito tayo. Meron tayo dito parang fried donut. Diba? Pasang yutyaw eh. And then, ang partner niya is condensada. Gusto ko muna tikman itong bread as is. Mmm. Kung yung next pick kong lasa, ganun lang din. Airy, fluffy, crispy sa labas. Yutil na yutil nga. Fried donut lang. Tapos medyo salty din siya ng konti. Dip natin sa condense. Mm. Ito yung magic killer. Parang kumakain ng roti, pero pagkakaiba, yung dip mo is yung bread. Next, ito yung ating cheese steak truffle. Look at that. Sige, biyakin natin. Ooh, look at that. May cheese nga siya. Look at mozzarella. Mm. Truffle flavor. Pintay ko hanapin. Oh, medyo may onte. But not so much. It's like more on... Parang siyang onion garlic na powder. Parang ganun lang. Hindi siya truffle. And then loob niya, gooey, cheesy, kalabas, medyo crunchy. Pero dapat di travel pa kaya nito. Okay, next check mo natin itong cow crapaw chicken. So, makikita mo, parang chicken bites na merong crapaw sauce. Ay ng kanin. Mm. I can taste the crapaw element. Yung parang may asim, konting tamis, yung alat. And then, yung sauce niya medyo may kalaputan siya. But definitely, manghang din siya ng konti. Pero yun yung gusto ko dito sa McDonald's Thailand. Eh, in-incorporate talaga yung local food sa McDonald's nila. Katulad tong krapaw. From one chicken, pumunta tayo sa isa pang chicken. Ito yung chicken bites nila. So, para sa chicken nuggets pero bilog. Tapos dito, may option ka na free ketchup or free chili. Lagi na sa chili sauce natin. Ito yung flavor siya sa KFC. Parang ganito na, siyempre, hindi 100% ganun yung lasa, pero in terms of texture, in terms of style, parang, parang siyang flavored shots. Last food natin, meron tayo dito beefy cheese burger. Wait lang. Ayun, nabuksan ko na. Okay, so makikita mo. Ayun, akala ko, akala ko walang patty. Pero, okay, may beef patty pa rin ito. May beef patty tayo dito, may onions, generous amount of lettuce of, or cabbage, and then may cheese siya tapos parang white sauce. Mmm! Kalasan niya yung cheeseburger sa Pilipinas. Ito lang, at parang may extra white mayonnaise sauce na medyo maasim. And then, and then punong-puno ng cheese, ayun makita yung white sauce niya na medyo parang sour cream. And then the crunch of the lettuce, the cheese, the diced onions nandun, perfect! Pero pinaka-highlight niyan is itong cheese sauce nila na tinatawag nilang cheese dunk. Nagkaroon din ata ito sa Pilipinas eh. Pero never ko siya na-try. At face out na ata. Uy! Sige, try natin dip. Cheese dunk. Wow! Look at that! <laughs> Toy! Cheese dunk cheers. Mmm! Pulong-pulo ng keso ang mukha ko ngayon. Pero okay lang. Ano tatawag mo masarap? Masarap naman. Dobrang mabigat lang dito sa chan kasi dairy siya. Anyway, I mean, bagay ba? Bagay naman. Isipin mo yung cheeseburger na makdo. E eh, sinusaw mo lang sa parang melted cheese whiz. Ito sweet egg floss pinky cream pie. Parang siya pakinggan pero yun yung pangalan niya. Pero si Hello Kitty yan. So pambata siya. So kuha tayo. Tikman natin. Yan. Okay, bukla. Uy, nice. <laughs> Ang cute. Parang nga siya may sweet egg. And then may pinky. Yan yung pinky floss siguro. Hindi ko alam kung ano yun. Tikman na lang natin. Cheers. Mmm. Mesmerizing. Unique. Nakakaiba yung flavor niya. Hindi ko maintindihan. Okay, yung egg medyo. Pero yung pink na... Hindi ko maintindihan yung pink... Parang siyang ano, 
nyog. Ang nyog na matamis. And then, there's two kinds of sweetness ang galing doon sa itlog. Ang gagaling doon sa parang pink cream nila na parang nyog. It's nice to be back dito sa McDonald's pero may isa pa tayong fast food na pupuntahan dito sa Bangkok. Punta na tayo ng KFC. Okay pare, touchdown. Nandito na tayo sa KFC. At tingnan natin kung medyo kakaiba ba yung menu dito sa KFC Thailand. First time ko dito, excited na ako. Tsara! Okay. Ano na to? Kai Jai Dead Gang with Angry Hot Sauce. Ah, bakit meal? Trigger ako dito. Gusto ko ito i-try. Fried chicken, two piece. Ito yung Kai Jai Dead Chicken Pop with Angry Hot Sauce. Two piece nuggets, mashed potato, drink. Oh, refill. Okay, FC Spicy Chicken Rice Bowl. Try natin ito. Shrimp Donut. Bakit hindi? KFC Egg Tart. Bakit hindi? Okay, heto na yung ating KFC Thailand. First time ko itong tikman. Medyo kakaiba yung menu nila dito compare sa McDo. Siyempre, base nito is fried chicken. So, simulan natin. Meron tayo ditong chicken nuggets. Hmm? Alam mo yung ba't yung lasa ng chicken nuggets dito sa KFC? Ba't yung nabibili mo sa hypermarket? O kaya wala kang baon? Parang lulutong nanay mo? Medyo ganun. Alam mo kalasa niya? Alam mo mga chicken nuggets sa may letters? O ito, actually. Parang chicken box. So, halo-halo yan. May chicken nuggets. May two-piece na fried chicken. Ito. Parang may flavored shots dito na may barbecue sauce. Tikman natin to. Mmm. Yan, yeah, just like a wow. Panghang. It's like a tangy, spicy. Yung anghang nito parang nagka-climb. Noong una, kala ko tamis lang. Pero after 2 seconds, may anghang na. And then yung chicken itself. Parang flavor charge lang din talaga. Malutong. Medyo may karne. Kung hindi ko in-expect ha. <laughs> Medyo manghang siya. Next, akala mo onion ring siya. Pero hindi. Ito ay shrimp ring. Sige, tikman nga natin. Mmm! Nakikita mo. Itong karne nga niya. Luwa sa hipon. At kung tatanungin mo ako, Paps, totoong hipon ba siya? Ang sagot ko, yes. It's real shrimp. Yung batter niya sa Elbaz, manipis lang na yung pagkalutong. Parang nga yung wrap, parang yung pinaka-batter niya is parang katsu. I-dip na sa chili sauce. Punta tayo. Ngayon tayo dito. KFC fried chicken. Ito yung hot and crispy nila. Tikman natin. Mmm, spicy nga. Oh, Lord. May layers pa siya ng pula-pula sa so medyo manghang siya. Super duper crispy, juicy, meaty. Ang hang, sakto lang. Kaya tatanungin mo masarap. Siyempre, KFC, masarap. Siyang lasa may 11 herbs and spices. Ito yung pinaka-interesting dito sa Thailand. We have these two rice bowls. Spicy Thai Chicken Rice Bowl at Green Fried Chicken Curry. Gusto ko simulan dito sa spicy rice bowl natin. So, makikita mo, may mga slices siya ng onion. Saka, alam mo nga, Indian food siya. And then, there's a lot of chili powder or parang dinurog na chili. Cheers! Mm. Mm. Parang itong hindi Thai food. Parang Indian food. Grabe, ang kakapal yung sibuyas. In terms of spiciness, to be honest, kayang kaya. Yakang yaka. Mas manghang po yung kanina. Pinaka nagpapalaso sa kanya yung sibuyas. And then yung hint ng green chili, yung red chili. Mmm, yun. Oo, oh, yung Thai chili nagpapalaso. Last, eto, yung Thai green KFC curry. Saan makikita nito, di ba? Sige, kuha ko dito. So, may sauce kanin tsaka yung chicken. Alam mo, this reminds me yung curry dun sa Japan. I mean, the curry itself, as in, very evident siya. May konting tamis, ang hang, the turmeric nandun, and then with the crispy chicken na nabalutan ng glaze yung sauce. Lalo yung dalawa itong hindi mo kalain na may ganito palang klaseng pagkain yung KFC. Ito, last bite tayo, mag-dessert tayo ng... KFC Egg Tart. Akala ko sa Hong Kong lang merong ganito. Cheers! 
Okay pare, dito nagtatapos ang ating McDonald's Thailand versus KFC Thailand. Ang tanong, anong mas tripan ko? Hmm, for this episode, para sa akin nagwagi ang KFC Thailand. I mean, I've tried a lot of food sa McDonald's Thailand kahit noong 2022. Pero ngayong araw, mas na, mas kakaiba para sa akin. Lalo na yung mga rice bowls nila. Yung spicy rice bowls nila, yung Thai green curry fried chicken. I mean, ibang klase lang din yung flavors na malalasahan mo. Tayo anyway, na dito tayo sa tinatawag na BK Center. Isang popular mall dito sa Bangkok. Maraming salamat sa panonood at Chewy. Dito sa Bangkok, Thailand, ang sabi, stay safe. Good night and goodbye. Fresh Pad Thai, mismo sa bangka, and that aroma. Ayan na, luto na. Sa video na to, nandito tayo sa Ratchaburi, Thailand. Gagawin natin as ang ultimate Thailand floating market food tour. Lagyan natin ng coconut milk. Maghahanap tayo ng iba't ibang Thai street food. Shout out kay legendary Mark Wins. Sa nagbigay nito? Habang namamang ka. Pero binihintay natin. Tura! Okay pare, magandang araw dito sa Ratchaburi, Thailand, outside Bangkok na to. Nandito tayo sa famous Dam Noen Sadwa Floating Market dito sa Ratchaburi, Thailand. It was constructed to connect the Meiklong and Tachin Rivers. It's a long stretch of canal at pinakamaganda dito. Eh, kaya nga siya floating market dahil sobrang daming vendors na nakasakay din sa bangka. This is like a tradition way back pa. Pwede ka bang ng pagkain, souvenirs, pasalubong. Eh, lahat ata nandito na sa floating market na to. Anyway, gagawin natin, mag-rent muna tayo ng bangka natin para ma-adventure na natin itong floating market na to. Tura! Okay pare, nakasakay na tayo ng bangka. At uh, very slow moving lang yung pinakabangka dito sa kanal na to. And then mas jump pack pa yung traffic dito kesa sa EDSA. As in, kita mo naman. Siksikan talaga. Bumper do bumper. Or bangka sa bangka ang traffic dito. Anyway, gagawin natin syempre, maghanap tayo ng mga street food or lake food or bangka food dito sa floating market na to. Tara! Ano ba to? Melon? Ay, mga prutas. Ay, mga prutas. Gahanap ako ng medyo ano eh, uh, kakaiba or yung parang authentic ano, uh, boat noodles. Nam top! Nam top! How much? 60? Okay. 70? Okay. Oh, yeah, I shall go to the coast of 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 the Unang food trip natin, meron tayo tinitawag na boat noodles na namtok. So basically, it's a pork noodle dish. Ano to to? Like parang crispy, cracker, and then, ayan, yung rice noodles natin. At uh, may pork meat siya. So tingnan ni Sabaw. <laughs> Teka lang, ang hirap kumain na kumaandar yung bangka. Cheers! Wow! Okay, nasang boat noodles nga talaga. I mean... You have this irony taste, and then this pork broth. The same time, medyo manghang siya. Natin to noodles. Mmm. Chop chewy noodles. Tapos, may crunch din galing sa toge. Tikman natin itong may karne. Ngayon, wapasok kami sa parang tunnel na punong-puno ng mga souvenirs. Ayan, mga souvenir shop. Ang hirap. Mag-shoot. Na may bumabang gas yung bangka. Sa Pangagat, nasanap tayo next food trip. Mm. Alam mo to be honest, this is a fun experience. I mean, medyo bumper to bumper lang. Pero, ayan. So, may nakita akong coconut ice cream. Sinasuggest niya. Ay. Coconut ice cream. Sige, pinalong. 
Okay, next, take man natin tong coconut ice cream na nakalagay sa coconut mismo. Tapos, para siyang may mga grass, jelly, at peanuts. Take man natin. Mmm! I mean, wala siya ng coconut. Yun lang din naman. Very refreshing, lalo na't mainit ngayon. Atirik yung araw. of the milky coconut flavor that grass jelly tapos yung peanut nagpapatulong din mango sticky rice yeah okay <laughs> how much? Oh, mahal sabi okay, buti <laughs> mamaya ko nakakainin to tourist ano trap din dito kasi para mabubudol kayo magmamadali kang bumili dahil medyo pa pressure yung kanila tapos yung mga presyuhan din eh medyo may kamahalan na katulad nito 60 baht yung barbecue doon 100 baht na agad Okay, meron tayo ditong mango sticky rice. Lagyan natin ng coconut milk. Kumuntik man yung mangga lang. Let's go ahead. Cheers. Mmm. Ang tamis. At coconut milk, ibang klase na gagawa. Kuha tayo ng sticky rice dito with pinipig. Mango. Mmm. The salty, sticky, may konting lutong na sticky rice. Ang sarap! So, dito sa part na to, maraming mga souvenir shop like mga ref magnets, mga damit, sombrero, mugs. Lahat nandito na pero actually tinitignan ko yung presyuhan. Medyo may kamahalan nga rin talaga. Pang turista talaga yung presyo. Ayan, so dami, kaliwat kanan. Ayan, ito, mga mugs. Kaya ang hanap ko dito ay street food or water food. Same-same? Same-same? Yes. Okay, may nakita tayo dito ang fresh spring roll. Medyo may kamahalan lang din talaga dito. So, 150 na to. Tikman natin. Dip natin sa sauce natin. Cheers! Mmm! Mmm! -mm. Very crunchy. May ver parang may vermicelli noodles sa loob. Sweet, spicy. At parang may carousin siya. This is a great snack. Kalasan niya yung kinakain namin ni Audrey sa favorite Thai resto ko sa Bay Foods. Mmm! Pare, dito may ginagawang fresh pad thai mismo sa bangka and that aroma. Ayan na, luto na. Boom! Kap kum kap! Nice pare, fresh pad thai dito sa bangka at dito sa Thailand. Okay, look this fresh pad thai. Haluin natin. So, wala siyang karne, tofu lang, that itlog. Tapos siguro may orange sauce na nilagay, orange pad thai sauce. And then may dito iba't ibang greens, crushed peanuts nice, luwag na alay mo kayo ka ng fresh pad thai habang nasa bangka ka dito sa Thailand cheers mmm mmm that's freaking hot pare ang init dulos natin sobrang bouncy, chewy All of the bad Thai woke aroma nandun, medyo matamis, medyo matamis yung alat nandun, ultimate savory noodle dish, and then all of that egg, 
nag-enhance din ng flavor niya. Ang sarap nun. Mmm! Mmm! Alam mo to be honest, this is a fun experience. Medyo mahal lang din siya. Pang turista talaga. Yung mga presyo ng pagkain sa 100 baht, like 150 pesos. Pero kung pupunta ka ng Thailand, lalo sa Ratchaburi, eh, masasabi kong, kahit mo paano, sulit naman, uh, turista or experience-wise. Isa mo agad tayo. Steamed rice dumplings na may gulay at maraming sili. Tikman natin. Hindi ko alam kung fried garlic atin na sa taas o onion. Tikman natin. Mmm! Fried garlic na matamis. Ang sarap! Mmm! Alam mo? Kutusin, kung wala yung fried garlic na yun, ang boring nitong dumpling na to. I mean, yeah, the two-year side yung wrapper niya, yung loob, di ko alam kung tapio ka ba or what. Pero pinaka nagpapalasa is yung fried garlic na yun. Mmm! May tindi yung loob niya, di ko alam parang sweet sugar na. Parang na-solidify, ewan. Inside. Ah. No to my feet, no eat. <laughs> my pet, making. Yeah. <laughs> Okay pare, last food trip natin Actually, wala na tayo sa bangka Pero, eh, nung kinainan natin O in-order natin pagkain Eh, nasa bangka rin siya So, counted na yun Para sa ating bangka food tour So, meron tayo tinatawag na Red Thai Pork Noodle Soup So, nakikita ko dito Pakita ko sa inyo Nahalo ko na konti May rice noodles tayo dito Fish bowl, toge, cabbage And then, nilagay na parang chili oil, garlic oil Tapos yung red sticky sauce Na hindi ko alam Tikman mo natin yung sabaw Mmm, mmm, sarap, alam mo Alam mo, parang siyang liniquidify na pad thai Parang <laughs> ganun It's ultra savory May konting saltiness, may konting anghang May konting sourness And then, and then there's a generous amount of crushed peanuts So, parang may extra texture kang na nalalasahan Nakakatawa Tangin na yung vendor Binabasa yung t-shirt ko not sp If not spicy, I'm not eating Shout out kay legendary Mark Wins Sa nagbigay nito, isang karangalan na masuot to Mmm Mmm -mm. Masarap This also reminds me of Vietnamese noodle dish Because of the fragrance of the coriander Mmm May dalawang texture ko na titikman eh Yung texture ng noodles, tapos yung texture ng crunch ng toge Mm. Medyo mura lang din siya kasi yung karne, parang mga apat na piraso lang. Pero, pwede na dahil masarap. Ito, fish ball tsaka yung pork. Mm. Dik na adik sila sa noodles nila na maraming fish balls. Medyo yung expect ko sobrang daming turista pero hindi gano. Suwabe. Last bite para sa inyo. Mm. I'm going too much. You can come back and like that. You can go all the way down. Yeah. This is video na to. Mark Queens almost killed me. Let's what? do one more. I'll fix you a bite here. Why? Today, I'm on a challenge to keep up with the OG legendary food blogger with some spicy Thai food. It's a pleasure to eat some chilies beside the Mark Queens. We will eat in his famous restaurant. And I prepared some spicy questions for him. Mark Queens has like has no spice tolerance. No taste buds? <laughs> we will eat some level 5 pad krapao. Ang sarap. Oh yeah. 
Masarap. Mm -hmm. And in the end, we will eat some spicy Thai boat noodles. So perhaps you have another 18 bowls to go. Uh, oh, what? Let's see if I can handle the heat with the spicy food king here in Bangkok. For the views, cheers. Ready ka na ba? Chura! Magandang araw dito sa Bangkok, Thailand At dito tayo sa Fed Mart Nagbabalik tayo Nakakain na tayo dito noong 2022 Pero ngayon, sobrang special At sobrang kakaiba Dahil mamimit natin Ang one of the owners nito One of the greatest of all time The Mark Queens Actually, medyo halo-halo nararamdaman ko Excited, saya, kaba Dahil panigurado after nito Eh, di ko alam kung gano'ng kalalang diarrhea Ang ini-expect ng chan ko Anyway pare, nag-chat na si Mark Sabi niya he will be here in a few minutes. Hintayin natin siya. Tara! The Mark Queens. Hey, what's up? How are you? Great man? to hang out with you. This is Mark Queens. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Queens. A full-time eater, a global food and travel icon, and the original food blogger in the world of internet. He is exploring different countries to document the best tasting food that they can offer. Basically, showcasing the culture through eating good food. This is the man I watched when I started vlogging. And today, I have a privilege to eat with him in his very famous restaurant called Fed Mark. So great to finally meet you in person. You too. I mean, I watched you like six years ago or seven years ago, but now you're like real life. Anyway, Mark, I have a few questions for you. Yeah, sure. Uh, I have written this like six years ago. Six years. Yeah. So basically, what is Fed Mark and what do you serve here? Uh, it is a small restaurant that serves one style of dish, which is called Pad Kapao, which is the Thai dish of a, a stir fry with holy basil. Is the main That's the main ingredient, the must ingredient. And then you can choose your different meat but it will all be fried with that holy basil and so it's a dish that if you spend any time in thailand you know there's famous dishes in thailand like like around the world pad thai is probably the most famous dish but within thailand pad kapao is probably the most common loved dish of all thai people across the country Dito sa Fred Mark, you can customize your own pad kapao first you'll choose your meat from vegetarian, chicken, pork, sour pork, beef, wagyu, wagyu shank, or buffalo. Next, choose your spice level. From level 1, which is no spicy, up to level 5, which is very spicy. Last, just choose how many duck egg yolks do you want. Like for a first timer, for example, I'm a, I'm a traveler, I'm a backpacker. It's my first time in Fedmark. Yeah. What is like the ideal spice level that you can suggest? Uh, like I would say it depends on your own personal preference quite a lot but what i would say is that okay we have one through five levels level five it's spicy but it's not a food challenge it's not it's not meant to be a challenge on a regular person level <laughs> or on a mark queen's level <laughs> on a <laughs> because you're spicy on a food lovers on a food lovers level but no it's it's like it's not a it, it's not a spicy challenge it's just well f level five is the level that i like just to eat on a normal basis. One thing about this dish though, Pad Kapao, is that it always needs to have some spice. Okay. You can't, you can't make it because because the, the chilies are not just about the heat, but about the flavor. To all the countries that you've been, yeah. what's the spiciest food that you've tried? Certain places in Southern Thailand. Southern Thailand. Mark Queen says like, has no spice tolerance. No taste buds? <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel pain. You don't, you don't feel pain. Uh, to me, you know, some people say, "Oh, you're eating too spicy, and you and you're you're gonna you're not gonna taste the food." But that's not the case for me. I can I taste the chili, but I can still taste the food underneath it. I remember, as a kid, eating spicy. I mean, not as spicy as I would now or in my later years, but definitely I would be interested in chilies. I'd be interested in spice and heat. I'd be putting hot sauce on food. Okay, so yun palang pananaw ni Mark Queens pagdating sa spicy food. And today, I don't care too much what will happen and I'll just savor this moment. Shit, ang ang ang. Hindi yung matatanong, halos 4 years pa lang ang Fedmark pero halos pagsaka na ito ng mga turista. Yung iba ay fresh from the airport pa at dito agad dumederecho. And based on the majority of the reviews, their Pad Kapao is one of the best versions you can eat here in Bangkok. The short span of time, yeah. how do you feel that Fedmark now became like one of the most eat and food tourist spots for like uh, tourists in Bangkok. Yeah, no, it's hugely grateful and thankful, but it's really thanks to people like you, to many people who have come to 
review to to check it out to taste the food i i think we just very grateful for all the people that have come here that have written about it or made a video about this place you're a full-time eater right a full-time dad and a business owner how does more queens balance all of this while traveling around the globe uh i'm still figuring that out but i think i think i've I've come to the, the realization that you can't do everything anymore. So you have to prioritize what you what's most important to you. And sometimes that means, you know, sometimes you wanna you wanna go out and do more and create more, but something else is more important. And so I think it's it's a bit of a a mental strength where you need to be like, no, this is way more important. I need to take a step back and I there's That's okay. Interview pa lang yun. Pero parang busog na agad ako dahil sa dami kong natutunan sa kanya. Maklase lang din talaga ng passion ni Mark pagdating sa pagkain at ang kanyang sining. Anyway, let's stop this and let's proceed in the kitchen. As you can see, all of these spices will go in the flaming hot wok. It consists of garlic, chilies, chili oil, green peppers, black peppers, and then ilalagay na yung karne. Lalagay ng fish sauce, extra chili, white pepper, and the signature Thai basil. Tara, panorin natin paano ito iluto. Order ko ng tatlong klaseng padkapaw. Level 3 squid padkapaw, level 4 wagyu padkapaw, and level 5 double duck yolk buffalo padkapaw. Okay, guys. Heto na ang moment of truth at pinakainihintay ko sa buong buhay ko to eat some padkapaw. Authentic Thai food with the legend himself, Mark Wins. Thank Mark, you. I know that you tried this like a thousand times, but thank you for dining with You're me. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so, let's start? Yeah, uh, let's, let's go. go with level three. Uh, I think we got, yeah, we got level uh, three is the squid. Okay. Then we got level four is the wagyu. Level five is the buffalo. Okay, so let's try level three. Uh, maybe I'll just get some uh, squid here. So this huge chunks of squid, right? Yeah, it is. So it has basil go and spices. Okay. For our first bite, can, can we do the yummy face? Let's do it. Uh, my question is, do we tilt to the left or do we tilt to the right? To the right. Okay. Wait, uh, I've been waiting to do this for... <laughs> I'm having a crumbs right now. <laughs> Seriously, I'm having a crumbs Just right show, now. Stretch out your neck a little bit. Do a little neck, neck warm up. Do like a little neck okay. warm up. Okay. The yummy face challenge with Mark Weeds here in Thailand. Mark, cheers. Yeah, man. Cheers. Mm. I'm going too much. You can. Um, I can like that. I can go all the way down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm, good, no? Mm. Kidding aside, I've never tried this. The last time I heard it. squid? I've never tried it. Oh, squid is mm. pretty good, yeah. Hey, the texture <laughs> is like uh, on the two year side. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it's so meaty. And thick cuts of squid. Mm -mm. Lots of garlic. You know, I've tried a lot of carpao. Here in Bangkok already, your carpao has like a different you know, aroma. The aroma of the basil is again the super savory. Same time, all of the spices, the chilies, just blending together. A lot of mix of chilies. Exactly. I think for me, huh, this is level three, right? Yeah. It's like a very moderate spicy for me. So I can take it. And this is good. good. You're picking yeah. pick nam blah. Pick nam blah. Oh. Garlic. Nam blah. Uh, fish sauce. Fish sauce. Chilies, garlic. Yeah. And a bit of lime juice. So normally you can add this wherever you want. Okay. Or especially on the egg is good. Oh yeah, too. that's good. And this will bump up the everything. Extra flavor? Extra flavor, extra spice. Oh, what that? Saltiness as well. So I'm getting some a little, little bit of the yolk. Look at that. All of that green and red chilies. Manghang na to mas manghang pa. For you, what's your like? And all of the variants of the meat, what's your favorite? Um, I like the buffalo. Oh, buffalo really? And the squid, probably. Mmm. Mm. 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 The yolk. Oh yeah. Is it like oozing creaminess mm. in your mouth? Nice. Rich and creamy, yeah. And this makes a difference, huh? This oh, makes yeah. a difference. The fish sauce, it enhances the flavor. If it was yeah. more fishy, taste to it, aroma, or saltier taste, I mean. And it just brings out the, the flavors. Mm -mm. 
another kick of the spiciness. Also. Yeah. It has chilies. It's that fresh chili flavor. Mm. So you've got that combination of everything, yeah. Yeah, this is a good start. Let's go to level four. For me, when I eat cup noodles, when I yeah. eat instant noodles, I watch you. How about you? If you're eating like just a personal uh, leisure time, who do you watch? Who do I watch? Oh, yeah, just a, a fun question. Um, I like watch a variety of things, just scroll through. Scroll right. through. I like to watch tech videos. I like to watch... Tech videos, huh? Not so much food. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're oh, editing, sometimes you're editing food. Sometimes food. <laughs> Sometimes food. Oh, so you like um, tech, tech stuff also? I do. All nice and all good. Cameras, learning about cameras, learning about filming techniques. Uh, let's dig in. So, all right. Yeah. Let's crack the yolk. Go for it. Okay. Yolk. <laughs> Crispiness. So all that. So duck egg has a huge difference compared to chicken egg. Uh, I mean, I a little so bit. You can see the yolk is usually yellower. It's richer and creamier. And I think it's more, more calories. More, more calories. calories and more flavor. Right, that's that's good. <laughs> the more calories, the tastier. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Ang saro. You know that bird? Say again. Ang saro. Oh yeah. Masaro. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, oh, that the wagyu. It's like a unique texture. Super fatty. Slices. Soft. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very delicate. <laughs> At the same time, for the food of Krapau, I really like the wok aroma. You know that? Mm, mm. Like the smell, the, the aroma. The smokiness, the, the high fire heat, so that mm. scorches those ingredients, scorches the garlic and the chilies and the pepper. And the good thing is the basil, it, like, it also has, like, uh, has an organic aroma also to it. It simmers around all of the, the Krapau. Yeah, and one thing about the spiciness is that, again, it's not too spicy. It's a type of building spice. So mm -hmm. when you first eat it, it's not really usually that spicy. But as throughout your meal, you'll still start seeing people, they start to sweat throughout their meal. So it's a, it's a building spice. I want to just like go to the main event. Sure. And maybe eat some chilies with you. Eat some chilies with you. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Sure. So this is the buffalo? This is the buffalo. Oh, this is double egg. You can get double egg, huh? You can get double egg, you can get triple egg, whatever you <laughs> want. That's a lot of eggs. I think somebody ordered a... Somebody ordered eight eggs? One Somebody ordered seven eggs one on one plate, yeah. So that's like an egg crap out. That's <laughs> like an egg. <laughs> I want to give that cream to that buffalo. Maybe let's... Get a chili this time? Sure. This is level five, Go right? There. So put a chili on top. I don't know what I am thinking right now. It's like I'm trying to kill myself, but it's with you. So it's Hope a pleasure to eat some chilies beside Hope the more things. Thing. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. The buffalo taste great. Yeah. Mm. I love the buffalo. You can see there's just more chilies within it. Ah, okay. But again, I don't. I think it will grow in spice as you keep eating. It tastes about the same, yeah? Or do you think it tastes spicier? No, this is spicier. It tastes spicier? Uh, Mark, sorry. I forgot to drink my medicine. Is it okay? Sure. I have allergy. Yeah. Allergy uh, against... Uh, against chili? No, I, I brought my medicine. So... Is it okay? Sure. No, that's okay. Anything is allowed. Oh, my medicine tastes I, great. <laughs> I want to drink more. Yeah, it tastes great. Sure. Does that calm you? Calm your mouth down? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't help. One more time. I think you need to eat another chili mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To, 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 to just see if the milk works. Uh, I quit. I quit. <laughs> Let's go. Turn off the camera. Actually, I'm crying right now. Are you, really, is it really spicy? Yeah. Not because or is of the spiciness. <laughs> But because I'm with you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. I got the extra large chili. Oh, man. I think you can have another chili. What? <laughs> Do I have 
Can I reject this? No. <laughs> Let's What? do one more. I'll fix you a bite here. Why? Chuin naman eh. Para kang tanga. Huwag mo ipakita na mahina ka. Idol mo yan. Once in a lifetime lang yan. Dapat pakita mo na kaya mo makapagsabayan sa anghang. Tsatandaan mo, rinerepresenta mo yung Pilipinas. Hey Mike, I love my family. <laughs> I need to go back to the Philippines. Here we go. Here, it's a, just a small one. Huh? Just a small one. It, you'll feed me? Yeah, sure. For the views. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Kind of builds because there's pepper. Mm -hmm. There's green pepper with it. Mm -hmm. And then if you, you get the chilies, and then if you get the whole chilies, then that gives you a, an extra punch to the face. Oh, this is not punch. This it's is a, like a, a kick. A kick. Kick to the face. A knockout. Oh, a different kind of beast, man. Feels good. Feels good. But doesn't feel good. But it feels good to be with you, you know? My mouth doesn't feel good, but my heart is full of enjoyment. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Are you talking about the... the ring of fire? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, no. Not too much? No. Not at all. Really? Luckily, no no issues with that. Tapos na kung halos mahimatay dito. Anyway, this is not the final food that we will eat today. Yeah. This is just a start. A very hot start. So, Mark? Yeah. Let's go to our next food trip. Yeah, let's go to the next place. Binihintay natin? Chura! Chura! <laughs> do we need to do it together? No, it's okay. okay. I'm crying. Let's go! Okay, pare. So, ngayon papunta kami sa second food spot namin ngayon. Mark, where will yeah. we be going? So, we're gonna go eat boat noodles at a pretty famous place, especially for Thai people to eat boat noodles. And boat noodles are uh, one of the most popular types of soup noodles in Bangkok and Ayutthaya. Nakikita mo naman. Ano pa namang plus yung pangarap to na binagda-drive ka at kasama mo si Mark Queens. At, uh... Hindi ko na pati sinasabi ko. Anyway, pare, see you there. Oh, ani ani mu. Ani. Wow, man. No, no. Okay, go. So they have the pork side and the beef side. Your Thai is you good already. You can choose choose between uh, pork or beef. So why is it called boat noodles? It's on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's cooked in a boat, but actually, traditionally, they're called boat noodles because you know uh, Bangkok, Central Thailand, had a lot of canals, and you know the floating markets. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're floating markets. So. People would bring their goods and they would come from their house on a boat. They would sell, it would be a whole market in, a, in boats. And then also people wanted to eat. So they'd, people would be making noodles in a boat. And then when you need a bowl of noodles, and you'll see that they also serve the small bowls. They have the small bowls back there. They're little small bowls and it's just a few bites per bowl. And they don't fill it. It's just a little bit of sauce on the bottom. So there's a lot of empty space. And that's because when you're rocking on a boat, you wouldn't want the noodle to be full. It's gonna spill all over you, so it's served small portions. So to this day, boat noodles, they keep the boats usually, at most boat noodle restaurants, you'll find a boat that they're still respecting the original boat noodles. And then additionally, they still serve them in the small bowls so that you can, it's like nostalgic and it's the culture of eating them. And then people will eat like 20 of those bowls and just stack them up. So well, the question is, Mark, how many bowls we will eat today? Oh, um, Let's, we'll put you to the test. Okay. You're still young, you're still young. And you can eat as many as you want. Okay, I'll try my best. You're still young and hungry. And, and kinda eat, right? full belly because all of the chili is from Dakar Pao. <laughs> this is the fresh red, fresh blood. Big cut meat, huh? And then she'll just quickly boil it. Or sometimes they just put it into your bowl and then pour the hot broth on it and then the blood cooks and then that forms the broth. When was the last time you ate goat noodles? Like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but not here. Oh, there's the blood goes in. They originally come from Ayutthaya, like an hour away from Bangkok. But then Bangkok, it's probably one of the most famous noodles in Bangkok that people love.
Okay, pare. Next stop. Actually, this is our last stop. We're here at... Uh, Popa Tip. This is a famous boat noodle restaurant. You can try it first. You can try the broth, but it will definitely need some seasoning. So first, you can grab a bowl. You can taste the broth. It's a... Mmm, interesting. It's sweet and sour and smoky. But I can taste like the irony it tastes from the blood. The richness of the blood. Yeah, but it's kind of on the sweeter side also. Yeah, yeah. It, the, the broth is on the sweeter side, but then you can counterbalance that balance that by adding more chili, adding vinegar, and then something you have to add is the, what they call, kakmu. You can load this up. So this is like a free add-on, this is uh, You may need to pay for bowl. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not sure. You load this up, that makes it very rich and porky, and then you can also add this. Do you know what this is called in Philippines? Do you remember? The crispy pork skin? Yeah, you remember? It's like in Mexico. Chicharron. Ah, uh, chicharron. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, the Spanish name. So now you've got a lot of extra good. I like to go whatever your preference is, but I like to go vinegar. Like it. Would you like? Sure, thank you. I like to go with vinegar. Maybe like two scoops of vinegar. They make their own chili. You can see it's a really roasted. Like, oh, it's black, chili. huh? Yeah. Oh, but, oh, they really char, char their chilies. So you can add chili. And then you can dig in with the noodles, with the watermelon glory, with the, the beef. Okay. Let's dig in. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Cheers, Mark. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a never-ending loophole. Oh, that extra pork skin? It's good. But it's so good. The flavor is like so complex. There's a lot of things going on, like saltiness, the irony taste, there's a little bit of sweetness, mm -hmm. spiciness, and then the hit of the, like, the vinegar. Yeah. It makes difference. Oh, this is amazing. It kind of cuts the heaviness of it. Mm. All the richness of the crispy pork skin, the crispy pork fat. Mm. Some people are eating like five bowls or more. Oh yeah. It was just like a four biter. Or when I was young, like you. Mm. You still eat a whole stack of bowls. How many? No, not so much. Twenty bowls? Twenty? It's your challenge, man. One seating? <laughs> yeah. And you can actually just dump it in. Ah, okay. Dump it in and keep on going. Well, this is like a boat noodle master class, huh? I can call you like a Thai food expert already. How do you define Thai food? Thai food is extremely complex and very regional. So there's not really one... To me, there's not really one cuisine that defines Thai food. It's so diverse. If you travel from the north of Thailand to Isan, which is the north east of Thailand, to the south of Thailand, it's totally different cuisines. And then additionally, because of its... Thailand has a unique geography that's right in between. We have China to the north, India to the, to the west. And so there's been a constant trade between China, India. Well, in order to set spices have come from India. There's been techniques like deep frying and stir frying from China. And so Thailand has been always this kind of middle grounds also. Where, so perhaps you have another 18 bowls to go. Uh, what? To get to 20, you have another 18 bowls. My last uh, question is, uh, the, when was the last time you went to the in Manila? Oh, Manila? 2017? Maybe five. Yeah, maybe five or six years. What would like what would like struck you the most? Do you have like top of mind? When I first went to Manila 14 years ago, I I loved Bicol Express. Oh, that's my favorite. And I ate it like every day. I would eat Bicol hey, Express. That's that's a unique answer. Because usually brain if you ask foreigner, what's your favorite Filipino food? They'll answer Adobo. Oh yeah. Pinigang. I think this is the first time I heard a foreigner saying Bicol Express. Bicol Express. Anyway, Mark, this was a fun day. Thank you. Thank you, you so too. much for hanging out with me. You're welcome. Thank you. you. I have no right to, to be with you right now, but I'm here. No, definitely, man. Me, me too. I had fun. And I learned a lot. Thank you. Definitely, I learned a lot. Thank you. Let's have a last bite. Let's do it. Cheers. Today, a dream came true, an unforgettable day with more queens. As I edit this video, there's a lot of memories popping out when I started food vlogging way back 2018. Remembering the questions, why did I never stop? Even in the first two years, no one is watching. What you see in these videos is the real more queens also in person. The optimistic, humble, enthusiastic, down-to-earth food vlogging legend. Mark, thank you! 
thank you for inspiring all of us to be appreciative and open to the food and culture around the world. Thank you for taking us on a culinary journey each time you make that yummy face. Hoy pare, dito nagtatapos ang ating isang legendary collaboration with the legend himself, Mark Wheats. Mark, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, Pat. Yes. It's been a fun day. You too. Do you have a message for our Filipino fans? Oh, yeah. Uh, first of all, I love everyone in the Philippines. Love the Philippines. Uh, the food is fantastic. I always love visiting. Thank you always for your incredible welcome every time I come to the Philippines and your hospitality. And always good to visit the Philippines. Thank and you, good man. to hang out with you, Pops. Hopefully, yeah, you'll uh, return to the Philippines. Yes, I hope to. I really hope to. Good night and good bye. Bang! Nice rice. Yeah. That's <laughs> If you want, if you need like... <laughs> it's that. My English is so tired. <laughs> oh, let's do it right. Let's do it right now. I didn't know you were. I didn't know you were. It's okay. Let's do it right now. Three, two, one. Bang! My English is running out right now. Because my English words are like Twitter. It has maximum character. 140 characters. Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs>